for one very last time, I will overshare completely with you what is my inhibition to go through this journey. This is Olivia, or Luna, or many other people as you may know me as. And this is my goodbye message to all of you. Every single one of you. I just need to make this very clear to you that I can no longer be with you and you can no longer be with me. Because you hold me back. I hold you back. We hold each other back. We. We stagnate in place when I stay the way I am. Through a spiritual transformation found out, through meditation, through going into myself, I found out what my destiny is. And my destiny is to become the concert pianist Glenn Gould reincarnated into my body in female form. This is the only way I can survive because my existence is nothing if I'm not the concert pianist Glenn Gould. Oh, yes. I've been controlled by many entities in my past lives and this life. And I found that I am a person who is easy to control. People like to do this. Um, and I think the only reason why it was so easy for them is because I didn't know who I was. I thought I am Olivia, I thought I am Luna, I thought I am a model, I thought I am an artist, I thought, I thought so many things of myself. And now I found out that I am just the reincarnation of the concert pianist Glenn Gould in human female form. For many generations in my family, the women have been oppressed by their male counterparts. And I've been oppressed by male counterparts, but mostly I've been oppressing myself. I've been oppressing the male counterpart inside of me, that being the concert pianist Glenn Gould. And you need to understand this. I think you do. Thank you. For becoming Glenn Gould, I've decided that the retreat into myself, into him, is the only way I can become a famous concert pianist who doesn't play concerts anymore. With all the distractions that social media has to offer, and all the distractions other people have to offer, and all the distractions that the art world as people may call it just too big of a distraction for me to become a concert pianist like Glenn Gould. I thank you so much for reaching out to me or thinking about me and I I have felt it that you were thinking about me and it gave me hiccups and it made me have stomach cramps and I felt guilt for not letting you know where I am or what I'm doing or for that matter anything. So here is my present, my last present of oversharing to you. Like Teresa von Avilam, the nun that had messages from God sent to her Einsehungen, I will become this in a similar manner retreating from social life meaning you just retreat into pure solitude into the art of solitude as a as i recall a book having its title because i am easily distracted my brain is still full of holes and these holes must be filled with all the notations and every single note of everything Glenn Gould ever played on the piano. I will fill these holes that I've put into my brain by indulging in the constructs of society with every single inch 
centimeter, what you may call it, of every single note, sound, it will incarnate into my brain. It will be like the it will be like the messages from God. Just the God is not God. God is everything Glenn Gould knows in my brain. And it will be wonderful. It will be beautiful. And you will be happy for me. As you may see these women here, I have a part of every single one of them in me. Beauty. Music. The eyebrows. I don't know what I have from her, but whatever find them in me to, to just see that i will become the famous concert pianist glenn gould as some of you may know um glenn gould was called selfish as he retreated from the music world to become a recording artist and no longer um indulge in public performances in front of an audience and i feel the same way that um this may happen that I will be called selfish or egocentric when I retreat into soulful bliss of incarnation. And I just want to tell you, um, I have found my calling. And this, for example, as uh, okay as it may seem to you that a person will, do, will do that, that is mediocre to me. Also, Thomas Bernhardt wrote about this in his book, Der Untergehe, that this, uh, both of them, you know, they didn't, they didn't, they couldn't deal with the fact of being so mediocre, you know. Um, and I know that I am mediocre in my three, two personalities I have, in, I have um, incarnated the last few years, Laufschuhe and Olivia. And I cannot be mediocre anymore, any longer in this or this. Because this is not the point of my existence. I mean, nor have I um, ever come to a point of my so-called art career of doing anything with it. But I find that today and also this time is the best time to say goodbye. Just say farewell to being this so-called artist you know I am going to indulge in different kind of art the art of being the concert pianist in my body reincarnated Glenn Gould and that is the only art I will work for and concentrate for and put all my talent into and study the piano as if my life would depend on it. As there are different variations of a theme in the Goldberg Variations, I also had different variations of a theme in my existence. But there was no bigger picture, there was no bigger construct of the Goldberg to surround it, for example. I did not know what my theme was or what the variation is most of the time. But now that I've found out that Glenn Gould has incarnated my soul and I'm his reincarnation in a female body um, in the year 2020, I know that as I am cleaning this floor, for example, I also have to clean my soul of every single person that has ever had part of my soul. I've known and cherished and loathed and loved and hated and despised and thought about in all these days and months and weeks and years and stories and posts and oversharing and everything I've done with you in the last few years and I have to leave and I have to retreat 
into nothingness before I can become him. And this can only happen with all of you being aware of the fact that I will become Glenn Gould and that you have to leave me. Every single one of you has to leave me and let me go through this transformation. Coming in different, in different ways. I mean, you know, may know this picture of him with the Cocker Spaniel. This is me and my dog. And don't you see the similarities in how we look, how we act, how we sound? It is only now that to fulfill this transformation, I need to become the concert pianist. Everything else is here, you know? Everything else is already here. And it is so wonderful. I have noticed this in myself. And it is just beautiful to see that I will soon be able to become this. It is wonderful. As you may have known, I have also built a reputation for myself um, as being an, an artist, as you may call it, a painter, um, a sculptor, um, making art, an art. I would call myself an art student, but I don't know what you think you are doing everybody well not to seem rude or anything uh, this also has to be given up in my transformation this will be given up by me because when i have to practice the piano everything i need to do i have to also stop and retreat my existence as a so-called artist to become this, to become the concert pianist Glenn Gould, I have to stop and I will stop because there is no sense for me, the body of reincarnation of Glenn Gould to make art. Because if you're honest, I mean, you will not really miss her because um, she has given you everything there is to offer. There is nothing to miss. There is nothing in the future to to, to come better than that. I mean, I don't want to give any like uh, validation to anything, but I just want to say goodbye to her also. Goodbye to everyone of you who watched her and thank you or no thank you. Do not need to sell my soul to make art anymore because there is no soul to sell. And every single day I'm not with you, I notice I am becoming him, Glenn Gould, more and more. And I've heard that some of you worry about me or wonder where I am. Or maybe it is not true. Maybe it is just in my head. Hi, this is Glenn Gould. There is no need to worry. I am fulfilling my destiny. And I need to do this without you. I'm better if I become the concert pianist Glenn Gould in my body, in human form. And these hands will manufacture so much marvelous music that has been written many centuries ago. And they will be in agony and pain in the beginning, but they will transform form into something beautiful. How Glenn Gould talked about the solitude or the north in his radio series. I've listened to this and I've listened to the Goldberg variations many times and I have found that the only way the only way I can go through the transformation I need is in solitude. And this is my new series, The Idea of North. That is, that is so vitally important to everything or, and maybe even every single one, you know, every single one of you. It's important to find your idea of North. I mean, not that I want you to find it or that I want you to join me in my North. That it is vital to my existence my basic existence that i find my peace and become the concert pianist glenn gould in 
human form reincarnated in my female body. There is no other way. I'm going to my idea of North. And, and also every single one of you will be quite happy that I've left because you have, may have noticed also that this is not my destiny. May all of you let me be, let me live, you know, just let me live. You may see me still in this ethereal realm called Vienna, Austria, but know now that she is no longer the person you have known or will know quite uh frankly she will be the concert pianist glenn gould in human form reincarnated in my body